Head is just fucking spinning. Amazing. Stupid. Actually, fuck. Water that's coming out, nothing even fucking special. God, I hate this. So much. A lodge of tissue up my fucking. Just so it's not pouring it out. My. Ah, uh, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, one, two, fantastic. Oh. Oh god. E. Floated in my fucking head. What were we doing? We were. Feeling. Something. I actually don't remember what the fuck we were doing. Oh well. Ah, oh, we're on the Asari, uh, not Asari mission. Fuck. Admiral Stephen Hacker, Jacob Taylor, is a human biotic and was once a Cerberus operative working under Miranda Lawson. Born in 2157, he began his career as a Systems Alliance Marine and served as a member of the Corsairs, an arm's length program for operatives working outside of Alliance jurisdiction. Taylor survived the Geth attack on Eden Prime, but left the Alliance afterwards because of what he perceived as unresponsiveness in the face of aggression. While working for Cerberus, Taylor thwarted a plot by Batarian terrorists to unleash a bioweapon on the Citadel. Soon after, he was assigned to Project Lazarus, the Cerberus effort to reconstruct Commander Shepard and the Normandy stealth frigate. Oh, okay. Following the project's completion, Taylor accompanied Shepard through the Omega-4 relay to destroy the Collectors. He survived that mission and has since left Cerberus, although his current whereabouts and affiliations are unknown. Sorry, Arak Yakshi. <coughs> Arak Yakshi, demon of the night's night winds. Arasari suffering from a genetic disorder preventing conventional melding of nervous systems during mating. Instead, Arak Yakshi electrochemically ravage their partner's nervous systems. In extreme cases, leaving victims as vegetative invalids or corpses. Sarikai psychologists regard this incapacity for mental fusion as preventing the development of empathy, leading to psych psychopathy. There is no known cure. The disorder generally begins in infancy, reaching full patho pathology during maiden adolescent sexual development. All seductive and sexually driven as others are sorry, Adat Yakshi are con congen congenitally sterile. Ancient Asari mythology held Arak Yakshi as gods of destruction, depicting them, depicting them as villains of countless legends, <clears throat> and as the anti-heroes of numerous Asari epics. Contrary to popular belief, Arak Yakshi are neither extremely rare, <clears throat> around 1% of Asari dwell on the AY spectrum, 
nor are they all murderers. Most cultivate and discard countless exploitive or abusive relationships during their legally marginal lives. Despite rumours of Ardak Yakshi syndicates, by nature Ardak Yakshi, Yakshi are incapable of long-term cooperation. As a disproportionately wealthy species, Sari employ their economic reach and media ownership to hide, in, hide the Ardak Yakshi pathology from the galactic community, placing most Ardak Yakshi in monitored work programs or seclusion. Only the most aggressive cases are sentenced to sanitaria, prisons, or to the ju execution list justicas. Omega reclaimed Omega secrets. Aria Talok. A powerful biotic, Aria Talok has been the sole ruler of Omega for a long t some time. Rumored to be at least a thousand years old, she is as skilled at combat and the use of her biotic as she is at manipulation. And power games. Ruthless, highly intelligent, and dedicated to maintaining her rule over Omega, Arya is a force we reckon with. The recent events have seen Cerberus take over Omega and sent Arya into exile. There is no doubt that Arya will do everything within her power to reclaim what is her. Cerberus' occupation of Omega. The elusive man's plan to capture Omega was elegantly. Experimental specimens called adjutants escaped from Cerberus' facility. Beyond the Omega 4 mass relay. Took command of a Cerberus convoy and arrived on Omega to wreak havoc. With more adjutants incoming, Cerberus reached out to Arya Talok, claiming it needed her help to stop its wayward test subjects, reluctantly offering to her own forces in an alliance. Arya joined Cerberus' General Oleg Petrovsky aboard his ship to oversee the battle. When the adjutants overran the Cerberus Omega fleet, Petrovsky and Arya escaped through the Omega-4 relay. However, Petrovsky's subordinate, Top Colonel Raymond Ash, had remained behind on Omega to take control of the station's defences. Cerberus reinforcements approached. Now seeing that it was protecting the galaxy from the adjutant threat, Cerberus seized Omega giving the elusive man full control of the Omega-4 relay and the space beyond. Without Arya to keep him in line, the various criminal and mercenary factions of the station erupted, fighting both Cerberus, ground troops and each other. Meanwhile, Arya was taken captive by General Petrovsky, realising that the Amputants had simply been a ruse to capture Omega. Arya managed to escape back to Omega, slipping away in its underbelly to organize a resistance force. Eventually, Petrovsky ordered the Cerberus forces to evacuate the station. It was yet another ruse, this time to lure Arya out of hiding. With his troops out of harm's way, Petrovsky summoned a massive Cerberus fleet and presented Arya with an ultimatum leave Omega or lose it. Petrovsky threatened to destroy the station rather than lose control, and with no alternative, Arya left. Vowing she would return to claim Omega and take her revenge. Cerberus Amputant. Amputant. Is the Cerberus code name for the experimental subjects created at the secret facility beyond the Omega 4? The creatures are based on Reaper technology. The Amputants encountered on Omega have the ability to affect life, any life form to create a new Amputant. Amputants are deadly pack hunters. They initially remain hidden. Observing potential victims, distracting them with subtle whispers. When they select a target, adjutants ambush them with charged projectiles, create a violently unstable mass effect field, causes severe disorientation, and renders the, the target help. Hands muscle tissue gives the ability to leap surprising distances, allowing them to close in and affect their targets quickly. Yeah, I already see. I'm expecting to see fucking 
veggie bed. Close the door. It's that frozen plant. Imagine if you fucking command and just said, oh, where the fuck are we again? When we when you halfway through the mission, like what the fuck? You'd be thinking, what the Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Polar and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. That's good. And you're here to save them. They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. Yeah. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. Yeah. We're out of time. <laughs> we'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Thank you. Wait! Let's I go. To, I don't want to fight bear cheese. Really don't fucking want. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. This was likely the Reaper's initial attack site. Think the monastery got any warning? Few signs of resistance. I'd say very little warning. Oh, fucking planet. And that's not a joke about it being cold, yeah.
Kill it! Yeah. What have the Reapers done? Uh. Thank you. Oh, good. That is. Samara, go! Mother, you came! As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Yeah, Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Oh, think a bit. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb. Oh, in it. blur or not? A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire. <laughs> I'm sorry. Valer! That's cool. Fuck. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Yara, can you do that? <laughs> we'll meet you there. Yara, can you fly? Can you fucking fly, Liara? Well, if you could. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. I'll take the word for it. You know, this architecture. Fucking scary looking architecture.
Boom! Now I've got the biotic powers. I don't know where they came from. I'm not a biotic, but cool. Shotgun, what the fuck? Duck. General, if we come across the other one, we'll do. Jethro, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. Jessica who brought her to us, Jessica Fora, said she was trouble. Convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. It's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. Jessica's code would have demanded an execution. I questioned some other Jessica's on the level of Fora's permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their way, but it will certainly be the last. Good shot, girl. Is that happening to her? Death row. I looked over this year's candidates supervised visits to Thessia. I have approved everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cutting, and worst of all, romantic. By me, a worse combination to land outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even dominated. Let's look into that. Pray that not Yanis manipulating other another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit our home world, visit their own home world. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. The shark guy. Mm -hmm. Get that big one.
Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Fucking kill her. What happened to the arrow? another Asari commando, also deceased. Falaire and her sister may be the only survivors. Yes. I was unsure if it was appropriate to broach the subject. Thank you, Edie. But don't spare my feelings. It's better to know. We got this. Eh? We upgrade? Fuck yeah. That's a bit weird. Not the biggest fan of us. Architecture on us. So does Falaire. Rila, wake up. Falaire, Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. There's a wide open. She's different. You can see him. She's like she, yeah, she, it's like she's reading something. change in real time. <gasps> Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? The explosives require a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Ah, oh, fuck. Later. Ah. 
No! No! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? It's getting scary now. Run! Sit. Run! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god! Actually terrifying. Run. Fuck me! Why do they keep hitting me? everything that hits that. One dead. That's the last one. Oh, shit. Let's get back to that bomb. My God, that thing is terrifying. I fucking hate that. Ugh, my fucking hay fever is terrible at the moment. Fucking terrible. There we go, my god. Uh, back off. Ah. Bad grenades. I don't want my big boss one or something. Solaire, go! Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Yeah. Move. Why is her eyes no. perfect? Rila. 
I love you. Rila! The... Fuck. I don't like him. Oh, I don't fucking like him. <laughs> Sabara's gonna care for it. There wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. Holy shit. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. What the fuck? Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. Stop. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling yeah, the let code. You kill By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Fuck me, it's a shit code. <laughs> Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I meant it when I said the galaxy needs you against the Reapers. You were right. It's past time I joined your battle. Oh fuck, is Samara gonna actually go join us? I'll fight in your armies, Shepard, once I speak with Falaire. I'll be waiting. Not for long. Thank you, my friend. Yay! This idiot. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Okay. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Commander. I'm pleased to hear the Ardot Yakshi situation has been put to rest. Should I guess you're our contact inside Asari High Command, Counselor? I'm merely here to convey the gratitude of the Asari people for concluding a difficult, sensitive mission. The next team of commandos we were sending to the monastery are now en route to Admiral Hackett instead. Farewell, Yay! Sorry outside there. Yay. Awesome. Good buddy. What we get?
Target pound. Right. A command shepherd's interview with Diane Ellers about the attempted takeover of the Citadel stressed internal security as a top priority. Lions fleets have since increased these security measures. Fuck yeah. Sorry, commandos trained from an early age, control their minds and bodies, seeking the ultimate economy of thought and move. They are taught that any shot be made without hesitation. While exact training methods vary among teams, all commandos are consummate professionals. Their ambushes, quick strikes, clever tactics, best and larger, well armed units, with thousands of recruits. The Justicas are an ancient Asari order, dedicated, by, dedicated to fighting and punishing the harm others. They originally adhered to the Justica co comprehensive, complicated list of laws. By assaulting the innocent, slaughtering the helpless, and refusing to acknowledge any authority of others, Reapers are an affront to nearly everything the, the code stands for. Justica Samara has set aside all other responsibilities, pledging to stop Reapers. Holy sorry, now I need to do the fucking nice. Fortunately, we pissed them off, but we got the fucking Kroger. I feel like the Kroger a bit more useful. Sorry. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. Hey. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? Squad ready from Corrine Labais. Labau. <laughs> Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet. It's time to deploy. You allow me a personal. I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back. But hearing that the place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard. Head for the front line. From Samara. Shepard. I finished my business on Lessus. I would offer travel. To, I would offer to travel once again with you to Normandy. The code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. Or you do your essential work. I will do my best to help hold before I depart. Go to the Citadel. Short time here. It doesn't interfere with your duties. Come find me there. Short meantime. Jacob Taylor. Hey Shepard. This crucible project is insane. It is intense. Friend and the others are. Pretty soon I'll have to make the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. Got time. Want to meet me there? It was so crazy on Gil. Be good to see you in a quieter place, you know. Update. Red Cole. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you all thank you again for all you did to get up. That facility. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work on him. Structure of the Crucible is presenting you challenges. My team and I are determined to crack its mystery. Although I never really I never rely on luck this instance. I fear we made it a little they said, Commander, I hope our paths cross. Don't blow my nose. There we go, I'm a bit less better. A bit less. So, buy some shit! I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. 
Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. <laughs> More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, <laughs> why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> You would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Huh? Hey. Hey. <laughs> the next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Commander? <clears throat> not many, not many upgrades, but we got a couple. Everything right here, did we? Um, oh, oh, Besada. What was it? Bas What did the what did the credits? Right. Plants in this. Right. No planets. That's what we. Go to as. Oh, 
fuck is it? What is it? Garvug was considered a bargain world, given to the Krogan to placate them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. Technically a life-bearing world, Garvug had a small farm belt around the equator, well insulated marine life in its seas. By the turn of the century, the Krogan had completely adapted, breeding hundreds of younglings per hour in vast underground bunkers. By the turn of the next century, Garvug's narrow strip of coral reefs had been destroyed by overfishing and pollutants. Excessive, an excess Krogan took to the stars to find another planet to consume. Garvug was treated as an object lesson by the Citadel Council. The Krogan could not be trusted to check their own. Today, Garvug is a frozen wasteland, home to corporate eco engineering efforts trying to implement sustainable agri and aquaculture practices. Krogan and Vorcha are a constant threat, and the corporations pay mercenaries well to keep their operations safe. Minus 35 degrees of the equator, fuck yeah. Rothian data drives, ooh. Evasion successful. Okay. A weird system. Healing gas giant formed out of metallic metallic hydrogen core. Lowy was the site of a rare astronomical event last year. Comet Osiris completed its orbit of 70 galactic standard years. It was so close to the giant that it was captured as a moon. Thousands of space probes from the, around the galaxy reported this one. Lowy is within the frost line of its parent star. Gas giants do not use this reason. Is Emergency fuel pod. Balas. One, one of a trio of asteroids formed around an element zero core. Balas is the, the easiest to mine for low yield eggs. A carbonaceous asteroid, Balas has a trace of water bearing minerals and organic carbon in the form of kerogen.
immer krass. Was ist Keine Ausbeißen. That's it. Go. Oh, then all the side trip. That's it. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Eh. Paris. Oh, he's at the dock. Yeah. At the dock. Sector status recognized. Please One move. moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Oh. Nulls, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Food requests at the refugee center. Trying to get more food for themselves? Looks like. Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Hey. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. <laughs> Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Look at this garage at the security checkpoint. Let me do I walk past, straight past him? I fucking did. No, that's not good. Just let me know when you're ready to take a break. Hey, Garrus. Shepard, glad you came. Hey! What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. Yako? I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. <laughs> I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Ooh. Now you're talking. <laughs> Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a terrier next to me. Still trying to make me blush, huh? <laughs> Until it works. So what's your one thing? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> I 
figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. Do I fucking jump off into the water? Do I dive? That's incredible. I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain mood. <laughs> something on your mind? It seemed like you needed time to figure us out. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. Oh. I felt the same way. The worst part. Whoa, the fuck is the screen Terry? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Again. Well, here I am. Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Garrus Vicarian. Wow. The vids Joker gave me. Well, what is the background screen Terry? There was the part about sleeping together, but this is. I don't know exactly. Who needs a vid when you've got me? <laughs> Screen tearing. And now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and a fucking shit a random civilian. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. <laughs> yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. <laughs> You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. <laughs> Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. <laughs> Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. <laughs> Next time, we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I wish I could rekindle a romantic. It is fucking T posing. It is fucking T posing and typing at nothing. <laughs> the fuck? It was fucking T posing and typing at nothing. What the fuck? Vanish? Fucking vanish. What the fuck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it come right here. Go on the corner. And I'm gonna see another one. And then this one's gonna vanish. What the fuck? That one just vanished in front of me! What is going on? Did vanish? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? There's a slidey one and then there's a walky one. What the fuck? Fuck game. Next area. I'm being freaked out by the keepers. Fucking terrifying. Spectre status recognized. Please one select. moment. Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. It is not like this here. Welcome to 
Libertarian State Arms. Hey, James. James? And Tattoos. Man, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. <laughs> well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm going to join the N7 program. Okay. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. <laughs> but the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously. But when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. <laughs> hey, I won't let you down. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, ma'am. You know, that's <laughs> gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matching. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You're such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just... <laughs> I didn't mean to... You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! His body is still there, what the fuck? Bring him out of his misery and you fucking keeping his body there. The fuck? Hey there. Oh, you, hi. Your parents get here yet? Nope. It's okay, I mean, he'll get here. They always keep their promises. But they... The next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. I'm sure you're right. I look forward to meeting you. Fuck, he knows. He fucking knows. Oh, okay. Knowles, I found another point where someone was using the Batarian access codes. Shepard, they're using it right now. Fuck. Where are they? Right there in the refugee camp. I'm on my way. Yeah. Here's our culprit, Shepard. Thanks for your help. Shepard. Of course. After what you did to the Vahawk system, why would I expect anyone else? Do I know you? No. But you knew Commander Balak. Our greatest agent. When you killed him in the sky over Terra Nova, you threw our external operations into chaos. The Reapers annihilated us, and most of our people have been transformed into monstrosities. A few remaining warships have resorted to petty piracy, while I steal scraps for refugees. This is the best the Batarian hegemony can do. You're pathetic. The Reapers destroyed our home world. Nulls, I'm invoking Spectre Authority. The Batarian refugees are a security hazard. I want them off the Citadel. Whoa! Wait, please. We still have ships. We can help you. We can join your fleet. Get back to your people and make it happen. You got 24 hours. You think the Batarians will work with us? We'll find out. What the fuck was with the camera shit in that? She was in the ground, she was up in the sky. What the fuck was that? I think I might have pissed. Thank you, human. A lot of fucking experience there. No. 
I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic the same voice actors as Garrus. Dr. Chalkwist spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Okay, okay, I see your point. Yeah. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. Cool. Good to hear it. I also haven't seen any Vorchi here. A Vorchi not allowed at the Citadel? Like, I, I can understand. Go grab a drink. Give me a sec. I'll be I'll be back. I'll be back in a second. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. civilization and its demise the reapers hit here first didn't they no one i knew had ever seen the citadel to be here now i don't know what to think it might not seem like much but a prothean is standing on the citadel alive that's a victory in itself yeah perhaps when things were at their darkest we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Oh, fuck. Pardon me. This one has been listening. 
This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face <laughs> of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. Everyone's gonna fuck. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. <laughs> the Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> but you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. <laughs> and you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. All squandered. <laughs> potential and become the weapon you are meant to be the weapon that tells the reapers we are not machines we are alive and we will fight back thank you that meant a lot commander shepherd it must be an honor to have a prothean fighting alongside you that's scary i'm just glad he's on our side you haven't seen him get angry neither have you commander oh fuck <laughs> I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Krogan leader Erdnan Rex stated that his support of the Turians proves that the Krogan are ready to return to the Citadel. Forces continue their assault on Asari space, claiming the Nimbus Cluster and the Selene. Perhaps you could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Wanna guess why? Oh my. They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah. Your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. Yeah. That's Bailey gone. Hey, go, Bailey. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze, or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. <laughs> These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm wor probably the worst I've ever been hurt. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna... No time for rest. Yeah. Heard all that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. It that complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Oh, that's a nice angle. <laughs> Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? 
He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. <laughs> Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? Uh. No. I couldn't. No way I could find... <laughs> medical, su medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the invasion is made to possible. Supplies are currently locked out on the docks. We released to Huerta Memorial Hospital. Asian Team Corps. Lola's ambassador. Black's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public locations. Thus, no position was at an office suite in the human embassy. Right there, mate. I can drink a little bit too much. Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang in Sovereign while I'm still here. Which part? I took rapid transit. Come on, you have the fanciest ride on the Citadel. And I saw that new paint job. I, um, I sold it a couple of weeks ago. What? <laughs> but you love that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. <laughs> Level back there. Not that bad. The back there guy is a little more lively in Mass Effect 2. I recovered some texts from a library in Reaper controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at bay D24 if that would help. Really? Oh, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Yeah. Doing good, Arya. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. The Blue Sun's blood pack and eclipse are in my pocket. Is there anything on your mind? Here. Are we up here? The Alliance is bringing medical supplies by the time. I know a guy in customs. Crates of Medijo from a week ago are still sitting on the dock. My friend finds us a few loose crates. You bring in your ship, we split it 50 50. What do you say? I should slit your goddamn throat. What? Medical supplies. Don't fucking steal medical supplies. Like, holy shit, the fuck is wrong with you? Especially during a war. Like, what the fuck? Actual fuck. Your turn. Counselor Irissa. Not hot. Too much makeup. Not really my thing. Shaira, the consort. Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. <laughs> Your turn. Counselor Irissa. Not hot. 
A suit? <laughs> Is it for the fancy fucking suit? Fucking you wear a suit? That fucking fancy doll. Bah. Oh, the fuck? Oh well. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial like... Oh, there's oh, a lot of fucking people here. Holy shit. Hey, Kip. There you go. Hey, hey. Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Russo? It was interesting <laughs> to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Oh. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. That's good. The whole thing right. That's good. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. Yeah. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. <laughs> so what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. <laughs> so, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. <laughs> Admiral Hackett's great. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. It's working here. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. Really good. The general might pull through because of this. I think this is Turians working here. Oh. Turians don't like me. Sorry. Not many sorry, but a couple. Is 
got this glow in the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in... I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes oh, fuck. black. And she touches one of the farmers. And he just... Dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching. Sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into... Liquid. Oh fuck. I'm there. Talk about a fucking a no uh, week. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So Bitchy. I'd, I'd fucking be happy to see you, Bo. Spectre status recognized. Please select the destination. One moment, please. It's good comments. Ugh. Gonna blow it. It's again. Eh. <laughs> Okay. The um, active fucking elevator. This fucking paddle's missing. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times Thank of crisis. Thank you for crisis. shopping at Kanala Exports. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. I can buy that as a bin. I'll buy that. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine. Mm. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Oh, the fish. Kanala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. At Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. We appreciate your visit and all personal needs. That's where I come from. I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. So what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? Excellent. I knew they'd find something. So what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? What is that? Excellent. The fly, whatever the fuck. That's all broken shit. From the uh, river store. It's just smoke. Oh, I just straight fucking purple. Not even blue. You, you, you are purple. Oh. Okay. 
Caden. Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. <laughs> I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. <laughs> At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chance. Fucking leaf. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my... Uh, integrity annoying. Really? <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. A fucking small creep. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander. And I value your friendship. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. Yo. I've been excellent. Her name is... Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come from? Oh, oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Yeah. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at... Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? <laughs> I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. I can Who's that? <laughs> I'm Molly, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. <laughs> no one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. <laughs> I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. 
And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. <laughs> you don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? Uh, no. I don't really. <laughs> that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Hello, Shepard. And so, what was that? Like a pretty. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. <laughs> I said that would go be it. Ah, provide boss to me. Babe, yep. 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 I did not catch the bar. Or the end. Gotta go to the dead. Oh, I did not catch her. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Oops, Mara. Thank you. Oh, there. Hey, that's I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Yeah. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. Yeah, hold With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Yeah. Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Such Justicar a worth it? That's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. <laughs> is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Falaire be all right? The hell's the or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was 
Ashamed to set Good readings. to see her again. If so. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Polaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Oh, let's see. Let me know when you want to see the office. Both council. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Yeah. ...must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. Yeah, I don't trust it. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. Yeah. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. Yeah. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. Yeah. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. Fuck. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Yeah. Fuck. Don't make me the same. has them everywhere nowadays. You can go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said? Oh, cool. I get to walk around. Hello there. How long till we killed Korlak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? Yeah. None of your goddamn business. He waking up? This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? Ooh. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Oh, shit. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidium Common. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name all of a sudden? Good question.
Uh, my head off. you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. A oh, recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. Hey. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Start because of trains. <sighs> Are you injured? Did those marks hurt you? It's actually fried. I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't oh, care about what I had bed. to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But, if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. Yeah. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. <laughs> You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. Yeah, no. All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'd be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet. Yeah. Take it. It's all yours, I promise. Oh. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this incident. Oh, I'm a spectre. Okay. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Huh? Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Cool. I need to fucking go. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow or something. I'm fucking tired as fuck. Hay fever and medication are what fucking help me get through. Fucking make me very, very fucking dumb. I'm already fucked. I will see. Alright. Bye bye. Bye bye.